now with salmon in the spotlight and what their dwindling numbers due to drought, wildfires, and other aspects of the current climate crisis means for all of us. The breathtaking Klamath River is the second largest river in California and once considered the third largest salmon run in the country. Once an abundant resource for farmers in the north and a vital food source for generations of native tribes here in the south. When the sun gets halfway up that mountain, you better be doing your last round. For some 7,000 years, Karuk tribal fishermen like Ron Reed practiced subsistence, finding nourishment on their sacred land depending on salmon to survive. Some of my first memories were here at Issue Fishy Falls, packing fish out. Didn't want to have anything to do with fish. We had so many. And now that's just a faint memory. As climate change sounds dramatic alarms, marine heat waves and dwindling salmon populations in the Pacific Northwest quietly hint at threats to our food. Today, I represent the second largest tribe in California with around 3,500 tribal members. We caught 50 fish this year. That isn't enough to f feed my family. In May, tribes discovered hundreds of thousands of dead young salmon. Low water from drought allowed a parasite to thrive. As temperatures get warmer and water levels get lower, salmon are more vulnerable to different disease factors. In the Klamath in particular, it's a very clear example where we have a well understood relationship between a disease factor and the climate. They're like a canary in the coal mine. We're not quite sure if they're going to make it out of the drought. The fish need water to live. And it's not just in California. A new government study predicts Idaho's Snake River Chinook salmon face a high risk of extinction by the 2060s. In Alaska, Yukon tribes say king and chum salmon have all but disappeared. If we can't reduce all of the systematic pressures that we put on them throughout their entire life cycle, they're not going to be able to adapt to climate change. Though the threat of climate change is clear, scientists say salmon are resilient, much like the tribes along the Klamath River. We manage that river so it can take care of us. We've been through extreme drought. We've been through the ice age. We've been through pandemic. And we're still here. <laughs> and make it through this as well, we're sure. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.